Hello students, welcome back. In today's lecture, we're going to continue with coronary circulation. We will continue where we left off in the last lecture. Shown here on the left is our anterior view of the heart, and on the right, our posterior view of the heart. On this slide is all of the annotation from the last lecture. To distinguish this annotation from the new annotation, we will change the color. In this lecture, we will simply identify the coronary arteries and veins of interest. We won't identify the features of the heart supplied and drained by these vessels. One should be able to surmise the myocardium, which is supplied and drained by these vessels from the location. Once we've labeled all of the vessels, we will summarize them. Before getting started, I would like to point out one thing. There are really only two coronary arteries. Shown here is the right coronary artery, and shown here is the left coronary artery. All the other coronary arteries that we identify will simply be branches of these main two arteries. Let's label all of our coronary vessels. Here we've labeled the coronary arteries and veins of interest. Let's summarize this information. Shown here and here is the right coronary artery, one of the main coronary arteries of the heart. Shown here is the left coronary artery, the other main coronary artery of the heart. Shown here on the right margin of the heart is the right marginal artery. Draining the same region is the small cardiac vein. There are two cardiac veins on the anterior heart, the small cardiac vein and the great cardiac vein. Shown here in the interventricular sulcus is the anterior interventricular artery, also known as the left anterior descending artery, or the LAD. Draining the same area is the great cardiac vein mentioned earlier. The artery here that makes a circular path to the back of the heart is the circumflex artery. Shown here on the heart, we have the great cardiac vein, which circles around to the back of the heart under the left auricle. The vein here on the back of the heart is the posterior cardiac vein. There are two cardiac veins on the rear of the heart, the posterior cardiac vein and the middle cardiac vein. The artery in this area is the posterior interventricular artery, also known as the posterior descending artery, the PDA. Also on the rear of the heart, we have the small cardiac vein shown here and here as it circles around to the back. And we also have the right coronary artery shown here and here circling around the back. All of the coronary veins drain into this large structure here, the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus itself drains into the right atrium, which would be under here. These are all of the coronary vessels for which you are responsible. And so that concludes this lecture and our series on coronary circulation. I hope that you've learned a lot.